Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a very small auction haul, but uh, to make this video just slightly longer, I'm going to throw in some random stuff that I have been listing recently, uh, just so you guys can see what I have um, picked up to sell on eBay. So you guys saw the footage for this auction. Um, it was, Eric had to go by himself, obviously. Um, we did not win a lot of things. Um, so much stuff was just going for insane amounts of prices that, you know, there's really no meat left on the bone after, you know, some of these things that were selling for as high as they were for to resell, basically. So, only got a couple of things, and even like the couple of things we did get had to pay a decent amount for. So, out of all of the four things, none of it has sold yet, so that's not a good thing. Um, but, you know, I can just only hope that, um, you know, the stuff will sell eventually type of thing. So, um, there was a lot of Christmas, like vintage Christmas stuff, and that always goes here lately for top dollar still, even though we are after Christmas. But Eric did win... Um, two of these old Santa Claus figures. So this was the first one. And it just looks like this. He's on a little base there. And he is marked Made in Japan on the bottom. So he won this guy as well as this one. So this one has... Um, he's holding like a bell. They both have bells on their ends of their hats but very like similar looking as far as their look and both marked made in Japan so he paid for the pair of them $90 um so I think it's a little high for these I definitely feel like had they been like German made um you know I would have been a little more comfortable uh, with that price, but we were hoping to maybe sell them for a hundred a piece. So I listed each one separately as a buy it now for $99.99. So if I sell one, I'll have made, you know, my money back and then the other one will be profit. Um, but you know, in the meantime, especially when it comes to Christmas stuff, like I'll probably just set them out as my own type of decor come Christmas time just so they're getting used until they sell so we did get those um this next item was a weird one this was in with the they had a couple different like stuffed animals and things like that this is just a really weird plush I had never seen anything like this before it's of a bulldog he's got I'm pretty sure he's filled with like a sawdust type material um like a velvet body but his face is made of composition so just really unusual I did when I was looking him up I did see one sell for oh my gosh um I'm pretty sure it was close to $300 this was not on eBay though this was on I feel like it was on like um an online type of auction type place um I can't remember now like the website or anything like that but since he was so weird and unusual I listed him very high so we paid $10 Eric won him for a bit of $10 and I listed him on auction for a starting price of $199.99. He didn't get a bid, so I relisted him as a buy it now for that price. Um, this is definitely one of those instances where it's going to take the right person who is looking <laughs> for something like this for him to sell, so I don't quite know how long, you know, I'll be stuck with him, but I don't consider it that way. I mean, he's really cute, so... And just really neat. I mean, I've never seen something like this before, have you guys? So you'll have to let me know. Um, so we got that. Then this is what we spent the most money on. <laughs> uh, we got this miniature oil lamp. Um, surprisingly, these can sell very high. And we won this at a bid of $125. So we already spent a decent amount for it. Um, these ones here, this coloring is more harder to find in this size, this color. Um, they call this a, it's a ribbed bottom and then a pansy ball top is what they call um, this type of 
design. Um, so one at a bit of $125. I listed it as a buy it now for $299.99. I do have a worth point account and I did see them sell for upwards of 300 plus dollars so i know they have sold for that in the past but again this is going to be something that i'm going to be looking for that right collector who is looking for this exact oil lamp in this coloring and size and everything like that so that's the only like downfall i guess with some of the things that you find at the auction is well even not even just stuff at the auction got a cha ching there um Hopefully it was for this lamp, <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Um, but not just with auctions, even with anything that you're selling, you're looking for that specific person who is on the hunt for that specific thing. So sometimes it takes a while to find the right owner for each piece that you list, but um, eventually stuff does sell. It just, you know, sometimes you're, you're holding on to it for a little longer than what you would have liked to. So those were the four things that we won at that particular auction. I told you guys it wasn't much. So I was going to fill in um, this, the rest of this video with just some stuff that I have um, that I listed. Okay, so this was a weird, not necessarily a weird um, thing, but um, at one point at an auction, I had won a bunch of Avon hairbrushes and you did see the the ones that I had hauled already. I had gotten like a large lot of them and they have been selling here and there. So I did have a couple other different ones. Um, this one is an Avon finishing styler brush. It was from 1991. So it is vintage. Um, I do have some still in the packaging. Those are the ones listed. After the ones that are sealed sell, then I'll list the ones that are like out of the packaging. So I'm pretty sure I have more than one of these. Um, so this one here is the Finishing Styler Brush. And I listed this as a buy it now for $25.99. Um, some vintage brushes can sell really well and you will see that <laughs> here in a minute. So if you're thinking, Michelle, you're freaking crazy with what you're asking for these Avon brushes, you guys, I'm telling you. So next one we got, <laughs> already sold. This one was the Avon Flare Styler Brush. I sold it for $89.99. Um, unfortunately, this was the only one at the auction of this particular brush. It would have been amazing had I gotten like a box of that specific styling brush but it didn't happen only one so but that's a really awesome sale um there was also this avon curl styler brush this one is still in the packaging so i can't take it out because i didn't have one that was opened um but this one's also from 1991 and this one is listed as a buy it now for 13 dollars 99 so not every hairbrush is created equal so that one doesn't sell for as much uh, but then i also had this is the last of the avon hairbrushes that i have um this one was the brush and beauty hair collection it was from 1998 so basically it was a little clear vinyl bag and it has three it has two different brushes and a comb inside so i already sold one of these um, for a buy it now of $49.99. So I do have, I'm not quite sure how many of these I have, but I know I have um, another one. So yeah, these brushes were a great buy and I barely paid anything for them. I sold a purse. I, w I had to um, ship a purse out this morning and my purse situation i have so many purses and it took me a little while to find it and i was like i am going upstairs and i'm sending out offers on all of my purses so one of them was accepted um need to get get through some some of those purses down there um so next we have this fitz and floyd coffee mug this is really cute it looks like a vampire dracula it says it's hand painted there and it is marked 
uh, Fitz and Floyd on the bottom. Eric won this at an auction recently, didn't pay much for it at all, and we listed this as a buy it now for $25.99. So there are a couple of them listed, but I think, you know, ours is on the cheaper side compared to everyone else. Um, this next item, I am not sure where this even came from. I think it was just like in a box lot from an auction, but it's this really cool anthropomorphic oil like cruet. It's shaped like a corn on the cob. There's a little O there, which is, you know, I'm assuming means for oil. And then he has a little stopper in here. It's just marked Japan, so I'm not quite sure, you know, who originally made him or anything like that. But I thought he was really cute, and I love the anthropomorphic type of thing. And I know other people do as well. So I listed him on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I'm pretty sure he has a bid. I feel like that auction is ending very soon, so it might end before this video um, does get up. I do have some perfumes as well. Again, this is from an auction. Um, this was in the Mark Earth perfume. So this was by Avon. Um, it came out in 2008 is when this came out. I used to have this perfume and I sold it like a long time ago. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. It's a very pretty bottle. Nice like light fragrance. And I listed that one for a buy it now of $59.99. So this is a harder to find fragrance. I also listed this Avon perfume again from an auction. This is in the set scent <laughs> Jet Femme. Um, it is from 2009. So again, a nice one, but this one isn't worth as much. This is what the bottle looks like. I listed that one as a buy it now for $25.99. This next item already sold. I'm going to pop it up over here. This was, got another cha-ching. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's really distracting. I should probably turn that off when I'm recording. This was a interesting um, sale. This sold so super quick. This was a vintage barrel of monkeys game from 1983. Um, again, it was in a box lot from an auction, not something we, you know, specifically bid on to win and list and all of that kind of thing. But I listed it as a buy it now for $15 and 99 cents. And it sold like less than five minutes after I listed it. Um, so that was just a really awesome, awesome thing. I did actually list another barrel of monkeys game and that one hasn't sold yet so I don't know if there was like a specific reason why that one sold faster so we shall see if I can sell this other barrel of monkeys that I have currently listed um I might start picking up barrel of monkeys games when I see them because that was a really quick flip okay we also got this vintage game this is called eggzilla it was put out by Milton Bradley and from 1986 so this is, it's in its original packaging. The packaging isn't in like the best condition, but basically it's like a timed puzzle where you have to put this eggshell around um, this dragon and before time runs out or the eggshell will like come apart and he like pops up and the eggshell flies off and it's very, um, you know, stress, it's very stressful basically. I was trying to, to play it before I listed it and I was like, nope, I don't like this game because <laughs> it was way too stressful. So I um, listed this as a buy it now for $29.99. Again, it came from an auction. Uh, this also came from an auction. It is, I don't know what this is. It's really cool though. Um, it is obviously vintage. It's made from like those satin ball Christmas ornaments and then it just has like this chunky gold glitter and some like feathers for the hair. It has no marking. It is on like a cardboard bottom. It almost looks like the cardboard bottom those Santa Claus is were on. So just really unique, interesting piece. Um, I did put this up on auction with a starting price of $25.99. I think it has a bid. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that it does. Okay, let's see. I got another Avon. I got another Avon item. This was for two lipsticks. 
ultra color rich lipsticks in this shade. This shade is called Impactful Poppy. This is what the color looks like. Hopefully you guys can see that. So a lot of two. This is a discontinued shade. So it was selling at a decent price. I put these up um, together as a buy it now for $25.99. There was one shade of Avon lipstick that I had um, been selling. I don't know if any of them came up in a cha-ching yet, but um, I had three separate lots of the same shade and they already sold. So people were definitely looking for that shade of lipstick. Um, this is totally random. I got this set of measuring um, cups um, at a thrift store for $2, brand new. I have, I have measuring cups and measuring spoons, but um, I, I'm constantly like losing one. I think I used one for um, the dog's food, my, la my last dog that I had, and I don't know whatever happened to it. I don't know if like it was stuck in a bag and the bag got thrown away, but for the longest time I haven't had <laughs> one of my measuring cups, so um, I was in dire need of a new set that had, you know, some, a larger set basically, because the one I had wasn't so great. So $2 for that, I was like, yep, they're there and I need them, so I'm gonna take them. These things here, again, from an auction of just random like box lot stuff, I debated on even listing them. I, I was just gonna throw them in like a flea market pile, but I decided to list them. They are brand new from 1998, so they are older. They are tab cards for a Rolodex. And I know, I think Rolodexes, like people still use them, people still buy them. So these are like little letter tabs to keep in between your files and stuff like this. And they have the Ann Geddes, the babies on. So there's a set of three of them, all brand new in their original packaging. So I listed them as a buy it now for $19.99. If they don't sell, I'll probably take those, um, have Eric take them to the flea market. I have this little piece of jewelry here. This came from an auction. This is a Sarah Coventry owl pin. This is so stinking cute. So it's a little owl and he's wearing glasses and you can like raise the glasses up so you can move them down, you can move them up. And it is marked Sarah Coventry on the back of it. So I listed that as a buy it now for $12.99. I do have um, some bigger items so I'm going to pop them up here to the side. This one is a velvet painting. Um, so these types of things were really popular back in the day. I want to say around the 80s, maybe a little um, earlier than that. We did get this at an auction and Eric um, put it up as a buy it now for $99.99. Surprisingly, these velvet paintings, some of them are selling pretty decently and this one was a really nice print. Um, so we got that. Um, these were another auction box lot random type of thing. Um, it was a set of magnets. These are huge magnets. They'd be really nice for like a beach house. So it's like this large conch shell and then there were two of these starfishes. So I listed them all together as the lot of three for a buy it now of $12.99. I got this at an auction for myself. I bid on this for myself. I paid a dollar. It was a pack of EOS um, lip balms and they're in the flavors Cherry and Bright, Whipped Vanilla Frost, Caramel Brulee Slay, and Cotton Candy Snow. So they're really good. I use like two of them now already and they're very lovely. So got those. Um, I got this ornament again from an auction. Um, box lot. It is a glass um, Christmas ornament. It says welcome to welcome Las Vegas and it just has like a gambling kind of casino look to it. So listed this for a buy it now of $9.99. Okay the next couple of items I'm gonna pop up over here. This next one 
skin came from an auction. This is a vintage Zenith radio. I um, listed this as a buy it now for $49.99. Next item was a set of Pyrex refrigerator dishes. Again, this was an auction winning and listed those as a buy it now for $69.99. And then I didn't bring these upstairs either. This was a set of red cookie cutters. Eric bought these at an auction and listed those as a buy it now for $19.99. I'm back in my room, but I promise you guys I am going to start doing more of my hauls downstairs because it's going to be beneficial for me as well. I'm not having to drag everything upstairs that I can just do everything down there and then put it away on a shelf and be done with it <laughs> instead of having to like multiple trips down up and down the steps. It's very tiresome sometimes. Okay, next is another auction winning. This was for a YSL Opium perfume. So nice large bottle here and this perfume is very expansive. And it is new. Here's what the bottle looks like. So I listed that as a buy it now for $90. That's a really nice smelling perfume. Okay, so we got that. Um, oops, I gotta, gotta throw up another one here. This is for a vintage um, Santa Claus wind chimes. They did, it did have its box, but the, the box isn't in the best condition, but the wind chimes are really cute. This actually came from the tote that Eric got at an auction for 50 cents. It was a whole Christmas themed filled tote for 50 cents he paid. Um, so we put that up as a buy it now for $19.99. The next item I'm going to pop up here too, because it's a larger item. This was a Mr. Christmas musical. They call it a Carolyn, um, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, did win this at an auction and put that up as a buy it now for $59.99. And I'm just going to do, because I have another one here. This also was from an auction. It was a set of three white deer, like a little deer family. Um, surprisingly, these were selling very well. Um, and I put those up as a buy it now for $69.99. These would look beautiful on like a mantle. If I had a mantle, I'd put them on my mantle. <laughs> I don't have one. Um, okay, next we have, um, again, another auction winning. This was for a set of two vintage elephant mugs. Really cute. They don't have any maker's marks or anything like that on them. But they're just really adorable. It's like a mama elephant and her baby. So we won those and I listed them up together as a lot for a buy it now of $25.99. So I also got at the auction these. I am like a sucker for stationery and uh, markers and pens and pencils. These are Paper Mate Ink Joys. I love these pens. Um, so this one is just, um, you know, a set of black ones. And then this one is for some colored ones. So I got these for myself at the auction. This next item, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it real well. This thing is huge. Can you see how big this is? Oh my gosh, this is the most amazing stuffed plush tiger ever. I uh, won this at an auction. Um, it is by a company called Jouets Burger, J-O-U-E-T-S-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E it's actually made in France. I don't know if I'll be able to, can I do this? Can I do this? Here you go, guys. Can you see that, um, tag there? It is made in France. When I looked up this brand on my Worth Point account, um, some of these plushes by this brand were selling for like $300. Um, so just a very, I guess, like sought after brand, very well made, large stuffed plush. So I did list mine for a buy it now of $199.99. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get that for him, but we'll see. I got two of these little hens on the nest. They're little blue um, salt cellars. So there's two of them. They came in a box lot from an auction. 
and they just look like that. So I listed them together as their lot for a buy it now of $19.99. I got this. This also came from an auction. This is a donkey. Oh, this is so cute. This is a really heavy enameled um, trinket box. So when you lift him up, you can stick like a little piece of jewelry or something in there. Just very heavy, nicely well made um, trinket box. I don't know who, you know, made it originally, but it's super duper cute. So listed that as a buy it now for $29.99. I do have a couple of jackets. These all came from the thrift store. They were having a, um, well, I purchased these when they weren't having their 50% off jacket sale. Uh, so I did pay full price for these. But um, I went back when they were having their 50% off and I, I purchased some more jackets. So this first one is a tan Harley Davidson jacket. We paid $10 for it. I listed it as on auction with a starting price of $59.99. Next one is also a Harley Davidson jacket. This one is leather. We paid $30 for it. And I listed it on auction with a starting price of $299.99. The same exact one sold for that price. So, um, you know, if it doesn't sell, I will list it as a buy it now for that price. Uh, next item is another leather jacket. This one is vintage. It's by a company called Shot, S-C-H-O-T-T. -T. And some of their jackets do sell really, really well. Um, I put this up on auction with a starting price of $99.99. And I'm pretty sure I paid either $20 or $25 for it. I also have a vintage Raiders jacket. Um, again, this one was probably $20, $25. And I put that one up on auction with a starting price of $199.99. Again, these were selling really high. Um, and it's a great size, a larger size, and a vintage um, jacket. So again, if it doesn't sell though, I will be reposting it as a buy it now for that price. All right, guys, um, that is everything that I'm going to throw into this haul. I don't want to make it too, too long, uh, but obviously I have more hauls. I've been trying to list every single day. I'm trying to get up as much as I humanly possibly can. Um, so we're in January. Sales are doing okay. Not as great, obviously, as last month, but they're still chugging along. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. And I promise you that we will be back down in the basement soon. So stay tuned for the next one.